everyone and welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad to see you guys again. And this week we're going to be reading Moon Dreams by Ruth Martin, illustrated by Oliver Ladick. Luna had always loved the moon. On the night she was born, a full moon had filled the sky, brighter, rounder, and bigger than ever before. And as she grew, Luna always felt sure that the moon watched over her from the dark night sky. Every night, Luna would gaze at the moon from her bedroom window before she fell asleep. The moon was so quiet and so pretty in the sky that it made her feel calm and peaceful as she slipped off to sleep. Luna often dreamed of the moon. Crescent moons, half moons, full moons, and even walking on the moon. But every morning when she woke up, the moon had always vanished from the sky. Where does the moon go all day? Luna wondered. She was determined to find out. So, as the sun set that evening, Luna decided she would stay awake all night to see where the moon went when it disappeared each morning. From her bedroom that night, Luna listened to the ocean waves Perhaps the moon slipped softly into the ocean during the day, she thought. Whoosh, 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 went the waves. Luna tried hard to stay awake, but soon she fell into a dreamy sleep. Luna woke up remembering a lovely dream of the ocean. She had seen a giant fish that glowed like the moon, but the moon itself wasn't hiding under the sea. When nighttime came again, Luna looked out at the moon beyond the distant mountains. Maybe the moon rolls far, far away, down behind the mountains, she thought. Chirp, 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 chirp the crickets. Hoot, hoot, hooted the owl. Though Luna tried not to, she soon felt herself falling into a dreamy sleep. The next morning, Luna remembered dreaming of beautiful mountains and a frozen lake shaped just like the moon, but the moon wasn't there among the hills and valleys. It rained and stormed all day long, and as bedtime drew near, Luna could barely see the moon behind the raging black clouds. Perhaps, she pondered, the moon just hides behind the clouds all day. Once again, Luna tried as hard as she could to stay awake all night, but drip, Drop, triple drop, poured the rain, and soon Luna's eyes were closing as she drifted off again into a dreamy sleep. When Luna woke up the next morning, the storm had passed. She knew she dreamed of the sun shining high in the sky behind the clouds, but the moon had not been there. That evening, as Luna climbed into bed, she still couldn't imagine where the moon went each day. Could there be a place beyond the ocean, higher than the mountains, and far, far above the clouds where the moon goes every morning? Luna wondered as she fell into a dreamy sleep. Luna's dream took her into space. She saw all the planets and stars, and there, at last, was the moon brighter, rounder, and bigger than ever before. Where do you go in the daytime? Luna asked the moon. I'm always here in space, watching over you, the moon replied. But you can only see me at night when the sky is dark. Luna woke up happily the next morning, remembering that she finally found the moon in her dreams. Luna knew now that the moon was always there, far away in space, watching over her, and every night at bedtime, she would see it shining in the dark sky. The end. Thank you guys so much for joining me again for story time this week. I had such a wonderful time and I hope you guys did too. Don't forget to check out Miss Debbie and Miss Erica's story times on Tuesday, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!